Hey, this is Awesome Josh19, and this is a remote right here. A PlayStation 2 remote, which I recently got. I don't know if they made an upgraded version where you can actually press the reset button, but mine doesn't have a reset button. Okay, I'm um, through this crap. The real review is right here. The PlayStation 1, which is really cool. Because mine actually has a screen. Instead of just plugging it into the TV, taking like a minute just to plug it in, I got a screen for it. And my only game I have in here is Mega Man X4. Um, this is a funny story. Um, I came, I walked in my game store that I usually get, that I usually go to. Um, sorry, um, I, I walked to a game store that I usually go to, and also like um. I saw um, the spine level. The spine label of the game said Mega Man X5, and the back also said it was Mega Man X5. But once I looked on there, it said Mega Man X4 on the cover, which was the booklet, and the disc was Mega Man X4. So, I never. I didn't. I didn't just get ripped off. You know, I almost got ripped off. I didn't get ripped off by the clerks. I didn't. I, the only thing I almost got ripped off was by the person who brought it in, and traded it in. And plus, since this, I'm probably going to play Mega Man X4, I got my blue PlayStation 1 controller. So yeah. Sorry, because this plug won't, doesn't have any room. So. I'm warning you right now, you might not see anything. You know, because... The screen might be too bright, or like, yeah, got my blue PlayStation One memory card. Trust me, I didn't buy any. I didn't buy everything blue just because Mega Man. There's a few reasons on that. One reason with the PlayStation One controller because before I got a white PlayStation One controller, which is the the PS One, and. Which is a white PS1 one? Oops. Oh, sorry. The reason why? Because the X button never worked at all for right here, and that's pretty much it. When you get the PlayStation One screen right here. You don't have to do anything. Like you don't have to. I'm just saying. I'm warning you right now. I know you might not see anything, but this is just an individual, like, like, um, system review. I'm not really showing off the game, just showing off the game, like, just see what you can do. I'll wait until I get a better camera. Sounds actually pretty loud. This is the loudest you can go. Pretty loud, huh? For some reason, this game has cutscenes, but you probably, once again, you probably can't see. You can't see anything. You're listening to the kick ass music, right? Sorry. Sorry, I'm kind of um, I'm just I'm kind of playing this in a weird angle, so that's why I just accidentally peeked up right there. I really need to get a haircut. Whatever. Oh yeah, here's one here's one thing also. Um 
You know Duo from Mega Man 8? The same voice actor of Duo is just the voice of Zero. And of course, the voice of Mega Man is the voice of X. Well, yeah. And the voice of Iris, is, I think, is the voice of Roll. The only problem is you don't hear X talk until, like, the end of the game. The only time he talks is when you're, like, shooting stuff. And yes, this is made around the exact same year as Mega Man 8. Here, go show proof. I hope you can see this, but... Yeah, you can't see this, do it. Storm Owl. Ready. See, look, you can't see anything right now. Bed's too bright. <laughs> if you're trying to hear me shoot, I'm trying to make X say, take this. See, look, he's like, take this! Take this! See, look, I can do a great X imitation. Even Mega Man, too. Roll! Good luck, Mega Man! Mega Man, wake up! Mega Man! Okay, sorry about that, but. Yeah, this is pretty much my PlayStation 1. That's all I have to say. Like, well, I've heard to show off all the features right here. All the only thing I did is showed it to you and made fun of the. Like, made a joke, a lame joke about a PlayStation 1 remote. So, like, here's the, this is a attachable accessory, or the PlayStation 1 screen. It's very similar to the GameCube one we have now. Or, well, I don't think anyone plays the GameCube anymore. I don't think anybody likes the GameCube, by the way. But yeah, here's the, here's the slot. I said slot. I know what I said. Like when I said horny man in my Mega Man 9 review. Like there's little, there's like two little screws right here. And you can use an AV cable if you want, but if you get the screen on, you the only thing you have to pr um, put it in the power supply. Wait, supply, sorry. It's really hard to pronounce stuff sometimes. But you should hear my friend. <laughs> I'm just kidding. If you're watching this. Um. So yeah, I've always wanted to do a th uh, review of this. I've always had a lot of fails in making this review. Like, I thought the reason why I didn't do one in like a long time because I know you guys wouldn't see it because the freaking brightness. Even though I could lower the brightness, but I've actually looked. Like, I actually um, couldn't see anything either. So. Yeah, that's my review of the PlayStation 1, made by Sony. And my first system ever made was a PlayStation 2, and that's the system I grew up with, and that's why I have a Model 1. Because that was my first system ever. Got it for Christmas. My first game, I don't know. I forgot what it was. Had to be one of the... It was Spider-Man 1, I think. I was obsessed with Spider-Man at the time, because, you know, I was like... Four years old, I think. And my first game ever made from, I mean, not the first game, but the first game I ever gotten was, that I've ever gotten for the DS was Yoshi's Island. Which was really cool. And it was Yoshi's Island DS, you know? So wait, why don't I bring up DS in a PlayStation review? I don't know, and that will remain a mystery, but this is Austin Rush 19, and I guess it's goodbye.